Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of wine bottle and wine glass product design. In this part of the video we are going to add some materials and shading to our, to our objects. So let's get started, shall we? Let's go into shading. First we need to go into viewport shading and let's use blender kit to add an hdri the one that i really really love and that is the garden one which i use almost all the time as you can see if you've been watching my videos okay now let's go into render properties film and transparent okay so the background is transparent okay let's just go briefly into layout shift a uh, shift a mesh plane oh yeah and before we do that let's just scale our both of our objects since this is a two by two meters we need to scale this a bit more to something like this let's just see yeah yeah that's fine it's fine okay let's press ctrl a apply scale okay and we are fine Okay, we have this. Now let's add the other background. E Z two enter control B to bevel. Let's add some more shade smooth. Okay. And let's wider on the X and let's make it longer okay it's gonna be fine I think let's go back to shading let's zoom on the bottle uh, zooming is with the del key on the numpad the one that you put the dots and commas and stuff like that okay now let's add some materials we are going to make a new one delete the principal bsdf let's search for glass shader and shift a search for glossy okay so ior of glass is 1.45 that is here by default ior of water is 1.33 or any kind of that liquid so if you'll need it for some animations uh yeah i forgot to add a mix Let's add those two and this goes into surface. Okay. Let's just tweak the factors a little bit. Okay. We have a nice glass shader. You can play with it and make it and make it shinier or however you want by adding adding some smudges and stuff like that but we don't need that now okay now let's do the wine bottle new material let's delete this shift a search for glass and glossy again glossy mix shader okay 
and output for green but let's go a little bit darker something like this let's put roughness a little bit more a little bit down okay now for the cap let's go for something a little bit metallic because oftentimes it's like some kind of aluminium bottle cap so let's go for something like yellowish or brownish yeah like this these are how bottle caps usually are on this stuff uh subsurf metallic roughness okay like this nice this is good okay now uh for the bottle let's add uh, the label and we will do it like this we shall go to front view select these vertices here face select select these ones here yeah these ones here okay shift d p separate by selection okay now what we need to do is delete this Oops, sorry you need to first uncheck uh this number here because <clears throat> this shows on how many objects this material is applied to or linked so if we uncheck this this is going to become a new material separate from this one so now we can delete this okay shift a search principled vsdf into surface and shift a search image color into base color okay now when we have a, an image texture let's open our decals i have a few decals that i have downloaded from from freepik you can see from which artist in the description below so let's go to my decals wine label open image okay now a g and move it a little bit out okay and if you have node wrangler enabled press ctrl t to get the mapping done okay now let's press you unwrap and let's switch to uv editor since this is a white wine let's select all of this s on the x a little bit wider gx nice looks really really good okay uh, all we need to do now is put some liquid inside so select the glass go into edit mode press alt and z to go into x-ray mode 
Let's want to go into front view. Let's select all of need to be a little bit more careful with the selection. So let's select all of the, these vertices. Okay, once we have selected that, press Shift and D to duplicate. Right click to snap it into place. P to separate it by selection. Okay, I'm just going to rename this so I don't get confused. Wine. Okay, now let's uncheck the material. And in the glass, let's give it a little bit of a nice amber color. Okay, maybe we need to just scale it a little bit more inside. Yeah, that's better. Okay, right. you can see you have a really nice liquid. You can add some other stuff here to make it a little bit better. For example, let's add fifth A search. Let's do some noise, noise texture here. Let's factor into roughness. Let's give it some, some waviness. Okay, and now it looks really, really good. Okay, now let's get to the background. So first of all, let's add a new material. Base color is going to be completely white. Uh, let's add some little bit of metallicness and let's turn the roughness down okay let's put uh, some some extra stuff from blender kit let's go to nature actually here into plants i'm an idiot Okay, let's find some potted plant. This one, this one looks good. Let's wait for this to download. G, Z, put it in the background. G, Z, uh, X, sorry, Z. Okay, let's let's get the camera ready. Shift A camera. Zero to go to camera view. And now view. Camera to view. something like this let's add some lighting shift a front view shift a mesh uh, light area light gz s see how this looks Maybe a little bit too much or front view or five minus 45 Yeah, this is better. Okay. Let's just set this up. 
let's go to maybe we should make this plant a little bit bigger something like this maybe okay now let's press f12 and see how it looks in the render view i think this is quite good there is some some shading problems on the bottle itself but that can easily be done later on okay the rendering is done as you can see it looks decent but it can be way better if you just tweak around a little bit with some materials and yeah that's it so if you wanna uh, support the channel please leave a like subscribe and yeah see you in the next tutorial bye thanks for watching